Hello dear viewers and welcome to our English news edition Top Stories. Public lighting to empower rural communities in Samu Ali Sibir. Yemen peace talks collapse in Geneva. Those were the major stories and before giving you the details of this edition, here is a statement by the chairperson of the African Union Commission, Musa Faki Mahmad, who encouraged by recent positive uh, developments in the Horn of Africa, in particular by improving relations between the countries of the region. In this regard, he welcomes the signing of the joint statement on global cooperation between Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea and Asmara on 5 uh, September, as well as uh, the visit of the foreign ministers and other senior officials of these three countries in Djibouti on September the 6th. He reiterates that the measures taken represent a major step in Africa's efforts to silence weapons uh, by 2020 and promote for the regional and continental integration in line with Agenda 2063. The President of the Commission also reiterates the African Union's willingness to accompany the countries of the region and to support them in what they deem appropriate. Public lighting were installed in the locality of Asamo after the capital in the day of Thursday, September 6. The ministerial delegation composed of the Secretary of State for Social Affairs, Ms. Muna Osman Aden, Minister Delegate for Decentralization, Hamadou Mohamed Aramis, and the Minister of Labor, Hassan Adere Samirre, went to the locality of Asamo to attend uh, interventions in order to improve living conditions through public lighting. Uh, this clean, sustainable and low-cost energy has been transported since last August by Solar Post as, as part of a project empowering rural communities. The calls of the locality as well as the inhabitants expressed their strong gratitude for this action which enlightened the locality of Asamo and allowing them hands off for to envisage their future in full light. In his speech, the Minister of Labor, Hassan Idir Samirre, urged the population of the locality of Asamo to take care of the public lighting. He also indicated that the locality of Asamo and its population is a model for all regions. And for her part, the Secretary of State for Social Affairs, Ms. Muna Osman Aden, emphasized the development of the activities of Asamo, so she recalled in her speech the various projects to realize in the locality, especially the lighting of Asamo by solar energy to improve the living conditions of the population to help them better exploit their activities. Back to school in the regions. In this reportage, you will discover the efforts deployed by the locality of Ali Adde as part of the school year 2018-2019. Let's watch this video. Ali Adde is located in a valley in the southern part of the country. The city is still located in a mountainous region in a close valley of the highlands. It is located at the altitude of the 756 meters above sea level, an altitude of 525 meters in mountain and low hills, about 69 kilometers southern of the capital, and has a rubbish camp of honors hosting 15,000 rubbish. We arrive at the end of the afternoon after having traveled 27 kilometers of short track since Ali Sabi, where we are finally arrived at Ali Adi, where children enjoy the last days of their vocation, playing a variety of games. We arrive in time just before sunset for our mission to Ali Adi. The day starts earlier, especially since we have only one day to give you an overview of the last preparation for primary school, among the many others in the run up to this new school years 2018 to 2019, the School of Basic Education of Ali Adi. The director of this establishment, Mr. Gulet Abdullahi Abdi, in office for five years, arrived his back 
in his hand. We choose this school for the simple reason that it is free for example of cooperation between the Ministry of National Education and many UN and humanitarian organizations. The same particularity of this school is that it welcomes to the children of village of Ali Adi and those of the refugee camp also in style in Ali Adi. This following the initiative of the President of the Republic of Smaru Megali who decided to include children of refugees in this national education. It was in August 2017, in major breakthrough of which Ali Adi is the only observatory on the whole of the national territory. Reason why the Minister of National Education had gained on the spot to the return following this decision of the President of the Republic. As the school is to accommodate in increasing number of students every year, there is indeed a reinforce in the reception facilities, which is used by Director Gullet, who accepted this progress of the latest in renovation work in progress. When is the run of class for a novel excitement, the director should hold the, his first meeting of the entry with the teacher, which are eight in number, two of which are missing, but colleagues assure him it's a question evicted to new teacher due to arrive tomorrow. This obviously the introduction of the uniform of student degree to novelty of this year. The Gula director used all his uh, talent as a pedagogy in to present this year's introduction of uniform instituted by the Minister of National Education. He explained the to impart the importance of wearing the uniform to parents. After two hours of play, four general consensus emerged. Two members of the parents committee, which includes Russian Azerbaijan, give us their thoughts on this novelty. They selected the school of Ali Adi in Port Royal and European area. This dedicated teaching staff has prepared itself in the best way in all schools across the country to the most remote to accommodate the 15,000 students in basic education in the country. In the framework of the preparations for the start of the school year 2018-2019, the Coast Guard organized Thursday a major operation to clean the schools before back to school. During this operation, Coast Guard's personnel thoroughly uh, cleaned five elementary schools. It is every year they participate alongside the Ministry of Education and Vocational Training to a successful start to school for students who will join these schools during this new school year. The Jibusin Coast Guard is, is still actively engaged in actions that benefit socially our compatriots. And now in Dekhil to wrap up the national news smuggling in the regions in this time in the Dekhil region that the Customs Brigade in collaboration with the gendarmerie intercepted this Thursday and last Thursday in the morning a large amount of cats from Ethiopia near Bandura. The prefect of the region of Dekhil, Mohamed Sheikh Hassan, has for his part sent a tribute to the elements that have contributed to this important interception of cats of contraband detrimental to the national economy. And on the news outside our borders, the Megalsi uh, President Harry Rajao Nariman Pianina uh, presented Friday night his resignation in accordance uh, with the country's uh, constitution uh, to launch his campaign for a second term in the election schedule for the end of the year. Elected in 2013 after a long period of political instability, the Malkashi President has been contested in recent months by his rivals who accused him of wanting to silence them. Seizure of the file, uh, the highest court in the country ordered the formation of a coalition government and helped to break the deadlock and restore calm. The two rounds of the presidential election have been set for November 7 and December 19. Yemen peace talks collapsed on Saturday after three days of waiting for Houthi movement delegation. More details with Mohammed Aden. After three days of waiting in Geneva, the United Nations must face the fact this Saturday, September 8, 2018, blast under the edges. The negotiations on the war in Yemen failed. The Houthi rebels have not contrived the rap of Yemeni government, which accuses them of sabotaging the consultation and blaming the appointment. The conflict continues. It like killed 10,000 people 
and cause a serious humanitarian crisis according to UN data. The major UN talk on the tragic war in Yemen turned into a fiasco on Saturday. No representative uh, of the Shiite Houthi movement traveled to Geneva to meet the negotiators' stand. Spurs uh, Del Potro in the final after the impediment of Nadal and will challenge former world number one Novak Djokovic. One year after her complicated motherhood, Serena Williams is uh, on the verge of a historic victory in more ways than one. In the final of the U.S. Open tonight in New York, a victory against the young Japanese Naomi Osaka, the first representative of her country to reach a major finals at 20, and Serena will equal with 24 crowns the absolute records of trophy in Grand Slams held by Margaret Court, Australian champions of the years in 1960 and 1917. At uh, 36 years and uh, 300 days, she will become the oldest winner of the Open era in major tournament by pushing the limit of her own longevity is already she who holds this record established during her coronation at the Open from Australia in 2017. And that's all for this news. Thank you for joining us on RTD and have a good night.